All right, guys, we're back and we're talking practical nutrition application for losing fat and gaining muscle. Um, as I'm sure you can imagine, probably the single most requested topic that I get. And before we jump into that, do me a favor, hit that like button below me, leave me a comment with any questions you may have, and definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can be in a position to continue choosing impact over everything. Now, when we look at nutrition to lose fat and build muscle. First and foremost, can we just state the obvious? Losing fat and building muscle at the same time, probably not the best thing to try to undertake. Uh, not saying it can't be done. There are studies that have shown that recomposition absolutely is possible to some degree, uh, but that is more, in my opinion, related to your training age than it is anything else. So those of you guys that are brand new to the training environment, if you've never really dieted before, if you've never really uh, taken on any specific training protocols before, losing fat, building muscle at the same time is definitely a possibility for you. But for those of you guys that are more advanced trainees or for those of you coaches with more advanced trainees, understanding that these people that have been training for quite some time they're not going to make adaptation at the same rate. And, and they're actually past what we call the neurological adaptation phase. They're into more physical adaptations and the, the adaptation of fat loss requires a calorie deficit and the adaptation of muscle gain requires a calorie surplus. And I've yet to, in 17 plus years, meet anybody that can eat in a deficit and in a surplus on the same day. Obviously you could do that over the course of the week, but over a, quarter, you know, over a week, you're probably gonna see either an overall deficit or an overall surplus. So the question then becomes, should we lose fat first or should we gain muscle first? And the answer is, it depends. Everything in nutrition is, it depends. Probably my two favorite words inside of this space. My, definitely my favorite words when I teach NCI level one and level two. So what does it depend on? Well, where are you today? What brought you to this spot? Uh, what do you have coming up? You know, are, are we having this conversation in May, right before you're going on vacation? Or are we having this conversation in November, right before you're gonna be wearing big sweatshirts and not going on vacation? Uh, or if you are, it's to a ski resort where you get to wear a sweatshirt and a jacket. That's obviously going to dictate quite a bit. But also, what have you been doing leading up to this? Have you been living in a deficit? Have you been living in a surplus? What kind of training are you doing? What intensity of training are you doing? What is your recovery ability like? What is your personal knowledge inside of this journey right now? All of these things need to be accounted for when we begin the discussion of fat loss and muscle gain. I'll tell you this, my personal preference is almost always in, in nearly probably 80 plus percent of situations to start with the fat loss. Um, by setting yourself up where you get really lean, you can control the, the process of gaining muscle on top of that while staying lean and really enjoying the physique in the whole process. Whereas if we add muscle now, there's likely to be a little bit of body fat that comes with that. And the process of dieting down is not nearly as fun. You don't love the whole thing and you really don't see the, the you know, fruits of your labor until the very end. So my preference is start with fat loss. So what does that look like practically apply? First things first, Let's figure out, are you consuming enough calories today to even undertake a fat loss journey? If you've heard anything I put out, you know that I'm huge on the concept of nutritional periodization. So many people have been trying to lose fat for far too long. They've tried keto, they've tried fasting, they've tried vegan, they've tried carnivore, whatever it might be. They've been bouncing from diet to diet to diet. And chances are they've been under consuming calories for a very long time, leaving them in a position of metabolic adaptation. Yet when they show up on your doorstep, you the coach, or if you're a client looking to lose fat, you show up on my doorstep, me the coach. The truth is you're in a position where you're not ready to lose fat. You haven't reestablished homeostatic balance. You haven't seen maintenance. You haven't seen your true foundation in far too long. And your body is actually in a position where it is defending against fat loss. So all of your future efforts are gonna become futile. Everything that you try, even if properly applied, is probably not going to work. So first question, are you in a position where you can lose fat? Now, if the answer is yes, it's really simple. The formula remains the same. We figure out what is your total daily energy expenditure. We subtract a few calories, either by our intentional intake or by increasing our output. We implement accordingly and we assess every seven to 10 days until we reach our desired outcome. Now, of course, all of that is done in a manner that aligns with you, that it takes into account your awareness, that builds your education, and of course, takes into account your unique desires. Once we've achieved our end goal of fat loss, we reverse the process. You're probably going to add 20% of calories to start, and from there, you're gonna to look to make weekly increases, probably carbohydrates, probably fats, to slowly increase uh, your overall calorie intake to get you closer to that maintenance level and to put you in a slight surplus 
where you can begin gaining muscle. Now, for those of you that answer no to the question of are you prepared to lose fat, you have a three-phase process. First and foremost, you need to restore metabolic function. You need to restore homeostatic balance and you need to get back to maintenance. Once you're at maintenance, once your hormone levels have leveled back out and you are in a position to lose fat, you're gonna go back to what I said was step number one in the previous process. Figure out your daily energy uh, expenditure, build a caloric deficit, live appropriately through the process, create that fat loss, and then obviously add some calories back in, begin the reverse, and start the process of gaining muscle. So yes, can you have both? Can we lose fat and can we gain muscle? The answer, of course, is yes. But you need to have a process. You need to understand in very few situations is it going to happen at the exact same time. And you also need to commit yourself to the long-term process and to making sure that you have a periodized process, active pursuit of your goals, recovery from said protocol, a brief off-season, and of course, a pre-diet. Periodization is still king here and it has to be adhered to if you want to continue achieving results long-term. Now, this is what we live inside of what we call application. Obviously, there's so much education in this world. There's so many ways to lose fat. There's so many ways to build muscle. There's so many ways to achieve the results you desire. The education is not what's lacking. The application is what you need and ultimately probably why you're watching this video right now. And education and application is actually what we teach in part two of the amazing five-day nutrition coaching blueprint. This is my five-day series where I take everything that I've studied, everything I've learned, and everything I've used to build the nutrition coaching empire that we have. And I wanna share it with you right now completely for free. So do me a favor, underneath this video, there's a link, click that, get yourself set up with a five-day nutrition coaching blueprint. And while you're down there, do me a favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and of course, stay subscribed so that you're getting the information you need to continue choosing one thing, impact over everything.